spend a few days with me. Today is a very exciting day. Today I am going to get my new car. I'm so so excited. This is my first proper big girl purchase because my first car wasn't that expensive like it was really cheap it was just so I could like start practicing after I passed and obviously whilst I was at uni but now I'm back and I'm working I thought it was the perfect time that I needed to get a car so I bought a car I'm going to collect it in the next hour actually I need to quickly film this intro this is why I'm so out of breath because I need to leave in like two minutes and I need to just sign the document that they've sent me but I'm so freaking excited to get my new car and then also you're going to be spending the next few days with me whilst I reset for 2024 2024 is in like four days time the four days time no four days time three days time and when this video comes out it will probably be New Year's Eve so happy New Year's Eve and I'm so excited we're gonna do some skincare we're gonna take down all my Christmas decorations even though I'm sad to see them go put up some new decorations that I bought for my room for the new year reset I'll show you guys my little purchases my reading journal that type of stuff and just prepare for 2024 talk about my non-negotiable what things I'm going to be implementing in terms of wellness lifestyle beauty before we start if you're new to this channel hi my name is Amy welcome I'm so sorry I sound so out of breath it's because I've literally rushed to get ready this morning and I literally need to leave in like the next minute so I'm just waiting for my dad to scream my which is going to happen in any minute now but I'm wearing the white because my car's white so I thought I'd wear white to match my baby I got a retinal Clio but I'll show you guys once I come back but yeah I'm going to head off now go get my new car and then when we come back I'll show you it and then hopefully I'm going to order a few bits for my car because you can't make a car your own unless you buy a few bits for it so I'm going to go get my car now and I'll see you guys in a bit bye <laughs> can you guys tell how happy I am like I'm over the moon so I'm back now I have my car and I'm in love she is beautiful I'm in love I decided to name her Ruby the retinal because obviously she's a retinal and I needed to name her so I was thinking about what names can I name her with an R and I love rubies so let's name it her Ruby so that's what she called I got a little retinal Cleo as I've said she's white she's cute she's sleek and she's mine I'm so proud of myself and I'm so thankful for everyone around me that's been able to support me and help me and I'm so excited to show you guys my car my baby I'm obsessed she's gorgeous I'm not at all bragging this was bought with my own money I'm 21 years of age, 22, I'm a working girl, so I'm not bragging, and yeah, I'm just really lucky, and I'm really thankful, so let's show you guys my brand new car, I'm so happy, there we go, let's go see my car, here she is, she's cute, I'm trying to block out my number plate, so this is her, now let's go inside the car, this is my car, so let's go over the specs. So let me move my microphone. So let's go over my car. So obviously my car has a little touch screen. My old car had none of this. So I'm really excited for that. And then obviously you can lock it up here, turn it off and then turn it on. Oh, let's turn the music off, shall we? So we have music. So I have my Bluetooth on here, but I have the radio, media for thing, and then I can obviously do calls. And then it's also got a little sat nav, which is so freaking cute and what's cool about this car is your keys just go into this little hole over here like that i absolutely love the way it looks it's just slick cute and i can't wait to decorate it i'm actually shopping on etsy to see if i can find little bits because i want to actually decorate this one my car my ford i didn't decorate it i don't know why i had all these things i put like two things in like some cup holder protector things but that was literally it but my new car this one i want to get stuff to make it my own because this one i'm planning to have for like three four years whereas my other one I had it for a year and a half 
that was my car i hope you guys enjoyed seeing it i'm just gonna relax for the evening i'm not gonna lie so i probably will talk to you guys tomorrow tomorrow is the 29th we will be resetting tomorrow just because on the 30th and 31st my best friends are coming from Leeds. I'm so excited and I don't really want to be recorded. So we're going to do our reset tomorrow. Today I'm just going to chill, get something to eat because I'm so freaking hungry. It is so like moody outside. It's been raining, raining, raining. So I'm just going to grab a book, sit on my sofa downstairs and watch the originals because I've been watching that and I've been obsessed with it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow where we'll reset and yeah, I love you guys so much. So it is the next day. It is actually around 8.38 in the evening. I've just been really really busy today i got a few things from my bedroom i was at my nan's most of the day and i literally just got back so i've just kind of been chilling for a bit but i'm just going to show you everything that i have for my room which i've purchased beforehand and then the stuff i got from today so i went to flying tiger today and i got a bunch of stuff so i wanted to put some water on top of my bed here in the summertime i had like affirmations and stuff like that but i wanted to switch up the vibe so i've gone for like movies and songs and stuff like that so up here I'm gonna have like my favorite three songs and then over here like where my like chest of drawers are I'm planning to get like a little TV and then I want my movies and favorite series there so let me just show you the poster so first I got some posters so the first poster is this little Sabrina Carpenter one that says I'm a home wrecker and a slut at her at perform at the concert so I thought I'd grab that one that one's gonna go over here next we have my favorite musical Wicked I'm obsessed with Wicked I'm just obsessed with musicals in general The Wicked is one of my all-time favorite musicals and I went to see it again this year so I thought I would get a little poster to put up also got the SOS album by Scissor this is my all-time favorite album my favorite song is Love Language if I can find where it is which is number five but this whole album in general I'm obsessed and then the two other ones I got was this friends one but this one's like a proper material like it's not like plastic it's not like paper or anything like it's proper like fabric but I think it's really cool and then last but not least is one of my favorite movies ever and I had to get movie poster for it which is The Best Man Holiday it's based off The Best Man which is a movie and The Best Man Holiday just owns my heart and I got this which I ordered today so I bought three frames I didn't buy the two that's for the TV but yeah just because I haven't bought a TV yet and I don't want to put them up until I know where my TV is going but I got three to put up here which I'm planning to do tomorrow I think tomorrow if I can put these photos up I would be happy and I got these from Amazon I got a pack of three the other two are still in the packaging but I thought I'll show you the one I really wanted to buy like a throw because I haven't actually bought in like a proper throw to have my bed all the time so I decided to pick up this one from the anthropology it is so freaking cute it's so fluffy like i love the little end bits here but it's yellow and then it has like an ombre effect with white so i thought that would be good in my bedroom and now let's go on to everything that i bought from flying tiger i picked up this mug like i had to get it because it's not only got heart on it but the handle is a little heart it's such a good size as well i think this one was like three pounds and yeah, I think it's just going to be a cute little cup to have. Also got this massive coaster. You're probably thinking, what on earth? But I found it as I was leaving the shop and I had to get it. Like, it reminds me of Elmo the elephant. And my plan is to have it at my bedside table. So like when I have my mug and I'm having a drink in the evening time, like you can just go straight on my bedside table and it's cute, it's thick, obviously it's gigantic but I had to get it because it's so freaking cute. Next we're going to go through my candles. So I got a lot of candles, like a lot. So first I got these two candles. I just got the standard like stick candles and I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. I think I just really bought loads but I just love the way these look and the way they burn. With these you can just literally have them straight down and it'll burn like in a way rather than like dripping everywhere. So I thought I'd get these just simple and cute. Next I got a yellow candle this one to match my 
my bed. I thought that would be cute, obviously, with this as well. I feel like it's a similar theme. And then next we got some tapered candles. Uh, I got two pink ones. They're just baby pink. Again, these are like £1 each. I thought I'd pick up two. I was going to only get one. But I thought I'd pick up two, just put it in a random place in my room. Just because next year, in 2024, I definitely want to get into using candles. More like candles, candles, candles. That's one of the things that I'm incorporating in 2024. It's just like candles. I feel like it's just ultimate cosy vibes. I got two more, but these ones are like hot pink rather than like the neutral pink like the baby pink and i thought those were cute as well and then we also got some swirly whirly candles because i thought it would help like spice up i wish they had more colors but they only had this white color but again i'm not that mad about it and last but not least i got two candle holders as i was literally about to leave flying tiger i saw these candle holders and i thought they're so cute like how is that not cute? I'm not doing too much to decorate my room. I'm going to do some, like, a little bit by little bit. But I just wanted to get those little things done before 2024. Give my room a little bit more personality. My bookshelves, I love the way they look. But I want to get, like, little plants and stuff like that for them as well to make them cute. I might get some, like, overhanging plants. But just really make my room feel a little bit more cosy. I'm going to have candles. I'm going to set the mood, have a nice vibe. But next year, I'm definitely, like, doing decor based on what i want to do rather than following trends because i felt like a lot of times when i was decorating my room i would do it just because i saw something on pinterest and i was like oh let me create that but i realized i actually didn't like it and i would change it within like two seconds but that's probably because i was actually just coming home from university i kind of just didn't know what i wanted and i was just kind of doing anything but now that i've been home for like more than six months i actually want to like do something that i love and these little things are gonna be cute but before i say good night to you guys i just wanted to talk to you guys about my journal so i've ordered two journals for papier unfortunately it hasn't arrived by the time this video will come out but i ordered two journals i ordered a reading journal and a wellness journal i have a plain purple journal that i'm using for like creative journaling but i kind of wanted to have a journal where it has prompts just do it five minutes in the morning five minutes at night and papier have really good ones this is not sponsored at all i got the academic diary last year and i absolutely loved it this year i decided to get the reading journal and the wellness journal and the one i got is so freaking cute i'll show you guys in a new vlog probably my first vlog in 2024 but it literally like tells you like, what are your goals for the day how are you feeling how did you see and then the evening was like what things happened today like how do you feel about the day what's your stress levels and so on so i think that's cute and then i also got a reading journal so obviously i do booktube as well Watch my book videos if you want to see that but i decided i want to get a reading journal i've seen so many people have really cute like reading journals especially pinterest i've seen so many cute ones and i actually want to keep track of what i'm reading and how i feel about what i'm reading because yes it's important to read books and enjoy them but also writing down and reflecting on them kind of like helps you connect to it on a deeper level which is something that i want to do but when i finally get them i will show you guys what they look like and i'll probably do a video on my reading journal setup so stay tuned for that stop talking now we got a little bit deep but i'm gonna see it now and i'll see you guys tomorrow i love you guys so much thank you so much for supporting me and i'll see you guys in the morning bye good afternoon it is actually the 30th of december so today i've just spent the whole day organizing my room making sure everything was like clean organized and i just feel so much better my bed sheets have been changed i put my throw blanket on and i'm just so happy with my room at the moment it just feels so cozy so fresh and just what it needed before we go into 2024 i feel like cleansing and deep cleaning your environment is so important especially like anytime like not even just because you're going into a new year but when you're starting a new week if you're like at school and you're starting a new term at school having a good organized environment actually helps you and it just puts you in the good mindset and one thing that i want to do in 2024 that i've done pretty well in 2023 is doing my bed every single day and trying to keep my room tidy i know my room can get messy because you can get busy you can get stressed out you can get depressed and your room is literally like your mind and if your room and your space is cleaned your mind is more likely to be clear and ready to like tackle whatever problems you might have i thought i would talk to you guys about my unnegotiables 2024 and my goals 2024 and my vision board i decided to come up with like a little list of 
things that I need to do in 2023 that's unnegotiable five things that I have to do every day or every week or every month it's just things that I have to make sure that I'm doing and like there's no if buts and maybes about it my first one is is no eating after eight nine o'clock the reason why I'm saying this is actually mainly for my health because I have IBS and last year I subjected myself to so many stomach aches because I was eating after a certain period of time and after a certain period of time I know my body can't digest it it's not just the case that oh one time you ate late like I do it all the time and each time my stomach hurts and there is proven that when I do eat before what, nine o'clock my stomach is actually completely fine so next year I'm really prioritizing my health my gut health getting more into my vitamins I was doing so well with taking vitamins until I moved back home and again my routine is just like gone out the window but I think that's because I moved back home not because the actual step of moving back home it's just the fact that i had a routine when i was at uni and the fact that i'm coming home it's kind of got a bit scrambled so now that i've been home for the past four months i have a little bit of a routine and i can fully get stuck and make sure that i understand what i'm doing and keep it on to it number two is every time i get paid a hundred pounds of my pay needs to go into a savings not just any savings i have savings for loads of things for my car insurance and stuff like that but i want a hundred pounds that's just going to go there spare because this year my spending not even just this year this year part year and a half my shopping habits have been horrendous atrocious especially with like purchasing books my main thing was food like this year i was going over my spending and it's not like i'm spending loads and loads of money on like clothes and makeup and skincare a lot of my money was going to those little purchases here and there that you're not aware of as well takeaway is my biggest thing since moving back home is i've been spending so much money on takeaway but my unnegotiables that i'm gonna be taking out 100 pounds obviously it could be 20 pounds it can be 10 pounds like you might do depending on what your salary is but luckily i'm living at home so i can do something like that and obviously it might be more it might be less in different months but my unnegotiable is to put at least a hundred pounds away every single month and that's something that i need to stick to in 2024 my next unnegotiable is regarding my journals obviously i mentioned my journals last night but i just purchased a reading journal what well, it's not a reading journal yet because i need to like set it up but obviously it's not coming until the new year so that's something i'm going to be doing the first week of january before i start work but i've also ordered myself a wellness planner like the ones where you do like five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening and then i've also just got a plain journal that i'm using for creative journaling but the creative one's more like me just like whenever i feel to write i just like use that book whereas the morning but whereas the wellness journal I'm using both day and night wellness journal writing in it every single day that's unnegotiable writing every single day creative journal at least once a month once a month is my goal for that same with my reading journal once a month but I'm not pressurizing myself same with reading like I'm not pressurizing myself to read I'm going to set my goal to 100 books again but I'm not pressurizing myself to meet that goal especially with reading like there's so many books sometimes where you're like oh I don't want to read this book but because everyone's hyping it up I need to finish it and get through it but if I don't like a book I'm gonna DNF it like I don't want to pressurize myself to do that same with buying books just because they're popular at that moment rather than buying books that I actually enjoy and know that I'm going to enjoy so for example I'm a romance girly and I've really enjoyed reading fantasy there's some genres I actually don't want to read but in my head it's like I'm forcing myself to read them just because I'm doing like booktube and stuff like that but we know that you can find audiences that just focus on the thing that you enjoy and love so that is a big thing that i want to focus on 2024 again 2024 is the year of me leveling up i want to focus a lot more on my wellness drinking more water because i have i know that's a basic little rule but i really slipped up on how much water i drank from june onwards and i really want to get back into that and i really want to get back into like doing a bit of exercise those are my goals and my unnegotiables 
for 2024 2023 has been a beautiful year to say the least this is the year that i graduated uni and moved back home my brother's wedding the year that i found out i'm going to be an aunt so many things started my youtube and i can't wait to see what 2024 brings i love you guys so so much thank you for sticking by me and staying with me i can't wait to reach a milestone for 2024 i'm hoping to reach a thousand subscribers i might reach more i might reach less but that's something that i definitely want to take more seriously as well those were all my goals and all the things that i achieved and all the things that i'm grateful for from 2023 bring on 2024 but that's going to be it for this little vlog i haven't really done much but i've got my new car i just spent the time deep cleaning my house um spending time with family doing my room and i'm just going to chill for a bit after i show you guys my room and then i'm going to go pick my friends up because they come and spend new year's with me I hope you guys have a blessed new year's eve this video will be coming out hopefully now on the first of january it was supposed to come out on new year's eve but i don't know if i'm able to edit it on time so you either get it on new year's eve or new year's day but if you get on new year's day happy new year welcome to 2024 this will be the end of the last vlog of 2023 So abrupt, the way I am reminded of us I found our stuff, old Polaroids of times behind us I can't get you out of my head Thought I'd get my mind off of you. We stayed up late. She got herself a glass of pain on.